So I painted a self-portrait where I swapped hue for value. The reason this self-portrait is so psychedelic is because there are no value contrasts in it. All the colors are essentially the same value, so there's no lights or darks to give it form or to help our eye resolve it into some idea of a three-dimensional object. This has the most magenta, this has some magenta, this has a little, this has barely any, and this has definitely none because green is the opposite of magenta. So if I look at the painting through these magenta sunglasses, those missing value contrasts are suddenly there. Interestingly, a recent comment on one of my equal value painting videos suggested that a red filter would show the contrasts best. In fact, people have believed that for a long time. There was a product back in the 1990s called the Value Viewer, which is essentially just a piece of red plastic, and you're supposed to look through it and judge the values of things in the scene based on what you see. It's kind of problematic. If you look at this painting in the context of a wider scene, you can see that its values are quite limited in range, right? The darks of the shadows under the trees, the lights of the sky, there's a full range of values around us, but this painting is kind of just in a narrow range at the middle of the scale. However, if I put the value viewer over it, I get a very high contrast between the lights and darks that just aren't there in the natural viewing conditions. Here's Cyan.